All right, here it goes. <clears throat> I haven't made a video in a while. I've been a little bit uh, out of it. The, uh, I was hospitalized in July. Wonder where all the pain was coming from. Found out I've got multiple sclerosis. But like I tell everyone, I've got this, it don't have me. What I've got going on behind me is I got a bunch of old used pallets. And uh, what I'm going to do is build a, a raised bed garden out of them for all my plants, which seems to be what I'm doing the majority of. I'm going to take you guys through the build process, a couple of the goodies I'm, I'm going to put into it. I've noticed a lot of, uh, there's other blogs out there that do the similar type stuff that I do and they've got a lot more than I do and I've also noticed that they have a very small amount that they actually do themselves uh, the videos the the links whatever they're always putting out links to somebody else's stuff somebody else's work somebody else's post whatever everything I do is me I don't take from other people I mean get ideas sometimes from other people when I do I'll state it on, on the blog or on the video just like the raised bed garden, it's a commonly heard thing. And I figure, well, I'll give it a shot, seeing as how this state is has no dirt at all. No, none whatsoever. Uh, a lot of people down here like to call sand dirt, and that's, you know, I've never heard that before. But uh, well, this entire state is sand, fire ants, sand fleas, moss on the trees, a whole bunch of stuff that's really hard on plants. They don't like to root into it. You're lucky if trees grow. The, all kinds of stuff. So I have my garden in buckets, portable. I've got a lot of other stuff, and the only stuff I, I, the only way I grow it is, I have one type of soil, and I have done quite well with it. Um, I use in a in a bucket or in Walmart. You can get laundry rope tubs. And I've used a couple of those for tomatoes so the roots can expand. I've got all kinds of stuff planted. I can't remember off the top of my head. As you know, as you notice, it's a little dark behind me, a little dark out. That's because it's about 7.30 in the morning. And uh, it's, the sun's still trying to find out where we're at. But um, I'm going to build these gardens, or this couple eight foot gardens that way they still fit in the back of my truck uh, a lot of things that a lot of people want to do if you want to do anything that I do my first suggestion to you is get a good truck not a half ton a half ton can't handle weight a half tons no but no not good enough for nothing but real light stuff may, mainly a grocery haul if you want to do any work with it at all get a three-quarter ton if you want to work hard get a one ton it's worth the extra money save busted springs, flattened, flattened springs, damaged frame, whatever. The frames are heavier duty, the springs are heavier duty, and uh, it, it's, don't don't try to work a half ton, you'll regret it. When you put any good weight on it, you can't haul much weight with it. Uh, I got all these pallets, I don't know if you can see the ones right here behind me, these are uh, eight foot two by sixes, stacked on four by fours and uh, the ones directly behind me these are about 16 foot and they've got two by tens on uh, slats across them all I'll, I'll pick the camera up here in a little bit I'll show you those and I'll show you the, the garden and stuff and the stuff I got starting out uh, like I said I don't use other people's stuff I do my own I scavenge um, I'll take household items that you get like you get cakes at the store. They come in a flat little black plastic thing and they come with a clear dome. A clear dome, don't toss that thing out. Use it as a, a greenhouse. That bl that plastic thing in the bottom you can't really use because if it's flat. But you can use the, the meat, the little one pound meat containers that come in, in the little black tubs. You can reuse when you go to buy plants that are already started. They come in those individual things. Reuse them as seed starters. I mean, there, there's 
so many things. I've reused coffee containers for seed starters. You seal them up. They're little miniature greenhouses. When your stuff sprouts out, it, since it's tapered in the top, you kind of got to cut the top off so you don't separate the roots from the soil. But you get multiple uses out of one container. And that's the thing about doing something like, you know, like this. More than one use, you know. You, you, everybody tosses out so much. Cardboard boxes. You know, I've got a shoe box in the house that I'm going to use for a, a seed starter. And then you can plant the box in all. It will deteriorate. The roots will be allowed to go through it. Once it gets wet, it will soften up. The roots will go through it. The plant will be happy. You'll be happy. It will decompose in the soil. It, it's, it's a win-win. It's a multiple use. It's a free box when you buy shoes. And uh, you just... I, you know, when you have stuff in hand, don't just say, oh, okay, I'm done using it for this and toss it out. You got to, to re, you know, think, okay, what else can I use this for? And there's uh, so many things, so many things that you can reuse stuff for. It, it's, it's unbelievable. Once your head starts working, the gears start turning, you can start to think of, of just amazing amounts of things to do to reuse stuff. And uh, I've got a little bit of stuff around here that some people consider as junk and uh, I see multiple uses you know and I've saved I've, I've got stuff that people think I, I spent thousands of dollars on and a majority of what I got was free because I save I reuse and you just gotta multiple uses for stuff but anyway back to the raised bed gardens I'm gonna tear these apart I'm gonna build the walls, build the floors, and have them up off the ground, this floor is bad for rotten wood. And uh, free pallets, free lumber, raised bed garden, all courtesy of a company around here, and um, I'm hoping that they'll give me a call when they get some more of the, the longer ones, or, or more of the ones that I can use when they need them. And the, these ones directly behind me, like I said, I don't, I think you can see them to, to uh, when, when you're looking at me. It's right back here. You can also use them as a, a walkway uh, to your house, from your house, out to your garden. You can use them, lay them on the ground, use them as a deck that you can walk on, uh, a living area, whatever. You know, save the money in lumber. It's, you don't have to dump a ton of money in junk this, just for decoration or convenience. You know, I've got, what, three, six, nine, ten, eleven or twelve of these things. Okay, and they're, they're eight foot by three foot. So figure it out. My, my head ain't working. I ain't have enough coffee yet. Matter of fact, I need another swig. But uh, think about the size of the deck you could build out of that. Just laying it flat on the ground. And it, with the four by fours under it, it's four inches off the ground. Air flows under it, water flows under it, you're never directly on the ground. And it's free. Save that dime, invest that dime. And the, the main thing is everybody sees Hurricane Sandy, Hurricane Katrina. How many people said, oh, we didn't prepare, we didn't save our stuff, we, we weren't, you know, ca uh, thinking, we didn't, you know, Oh, government save us. Well, you know what? The government's only going to do so much. And everybody sees that the government's pretty much trying to bite you in the ass. That's just the way it is. Got to take care of yourself because they're not going to do it. And there's times where they can't get to you. Hurricane Katrina, they had to tell a lot of people, look, we can't get to you. Got to wait till the waters recede. Took a week or two. They better hope they had food. Or at least fishing poles knew how to fish in that flood water and got lucky. But how are you going to cook it on top of your roof? Get you a little camp stove. Put it in your closet. Leave it there. Get a bunch of them little propane tanks. In an emergency, you can boil water. You can cook food. Get your ramen noodles, whatever. Save, you know, two gallons of, of water per person, per day. A gallon for cooking. Just boiling water, whatever it may be. Coffee, to me, is a necessity. I have two crutches. Coffee, cigarettes, and while well, this one's going to be going. 
as quick as I can afford to get rid of it. It's not that easy to kick. I've tried patches, end up smoking on patches. Had a patch the other day and I still was smoking on them. I just couldn't, but hey, that comes from what, 20 years of smoking. And uh, it's something I regret. But uh, I got lots to show you. I'm not gonna let the blog die. I've just not been able to get onto it as much. People, you know, do five, ten posts a day. They're posting from other people. There's no way any one person can actually do all the stuff that these other big websites do in one day. They get stuff from other people. I do stuff on my own. There's a, that's why there's only so much that I can post because there's only one me, and now I'm a lot slower. I got my uh, helper that I'm stuck with. I've only got. A walk, in the future, I've got a walker to look forward to and eventually a wheelchair. So while I'm able to still get up and move around, I'm going to do what I can. And, uh, yeah, I've got MS. So, but I've got it. It don't have me, and I'm not going to let it beat me as much as I can help. I'm on disability. I've got limited income. So, therefore, money's even tighter now to, to get materials. That's why I rely on donations. So please, don't think, you know, oh, well, I, I'm getting it for free. Most of you have noticed that, you know what, my projects have stopped because I haven't had the funds for them. I'm eventually, I'm going to get out of Florida because the Florida heat's going to kill me. Period. It's, it's going to keep hospitalizing me like it has been. And I'm going to be out of luck. It's, it's only going to cause more damage to the nerves of my brain. And for those who don't know what multiple sclerosis is, Basically, you know, to, in a summary, it's my immune system is attacking my nervous system. They're, they're attacking my nerves, taking the, my doctors explained it to me as uh, wiring, electrical wiring. You burn the insulation off and it gets uh, arc. That's what's happening in my brain. That's what a lesion is. I've got little burn spots on the insulation of my nerves. It's short circuit. It's jumping from spot to spot. I get all. I can constantly get feeling like I'm getting shocked or or burned or whatever. So, but I'm not going to sit here and whine and cry about it. I just said what I said about it just to let you guys know that I'm slowing down and uh, not able to move like I used to. But anyway, back to, to uh, the topic. Remember, save what you can, anything you have, look at it and say, what can I reuse this for? And there's a ton of things you can use. Toilet paper rolls. You can use those to store dryer lint to start a fire. When you get the, uh, the ready plants at the store, little containers that they have, the little six packs, those things are what, two inches in diameter? Guess what? That toilet paper roll is about the same size. You keep a, a few of those, you plumb the bottom up with a, with a little toilet paper, don't co cover it, plug it with plastic because you want the water to escape out of the bottom but slow. Put toilet paper in there or a paper towel, it will hold the soil in, it will limit how much water drains out of the bottom, and you can plant the toilet paper roll and all, paper towel, roll, whatever. Don't think that everything you have in your house, you know, once you're done using what its main per intention is for, original intention. That is junk. Quit throwing out and wasting because if you if you actually sit back and look at all the stuff you throw out, you realize how much stuff you're wasting that has more than one use. You, you got to look at it and think. You know, like I said, toilet paper rolls have more than one use. You can use them as a, a seed starter. Once your plant gets so big, plant the toilet paper roll and all. That's free. Screw, you know, there, there's no point in getting little pots and paying money for them. You buy plants that are going to come in a pot this big around, don't throw that plastic pot away. That'll be a seed starter, and then you can squish the sides, pull the whole thing out, plant it all. You reuse that little tub over and over and over. There's, there's more than one thing that you can do. But uh, on with the topic here. Let me carry this thing. All right. See if I can wiggle. Okay, there's the platforms. 
here's these two long runners. My vintage RV. Uh, yeah, my truck that they claim is worth more than what I told them. They want to screw me on. RV, I told them it's worth 200 bucks as it sits right now. It's gutted out. They said it's worth more than I'm telling them. I said, come out and look at it. They said, we don't want to. We're afraid I'll prove them right. I'll show them that they're wrong. Anyway. Oh. Okay, it hurts walking this fast. Okay, here's my little garden. I can't remember what all I've got planted in them. These are uh, tomatoes that's going to come up. Like I said, the little Wally World rope tub. Use that thing. This is a three year old hot jalapeno plant. Aloe. My little greenhouse garden that has lots of goodies in it. Yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah. Right there, maybe the wind's blowing this way. Let's, yeah, let's do this. I got thyme, garden chives, rosemary, chocolate beauty, bell peppers. I've got uh, early on in tomatoes. I got Roma tomatoes, make tomato sauce. There's sweet basil. Some of it's sprouting up somewhere in here. This is natural mulch. I got this free out of the ground just by building a little filter for leaves which I can show you how I did that. These are cucumber. <coughs> I forget what I put in there. There's more cucumber. These are two different kinds of cucumbers. And uh, a medium jalapeno seed. Little greenhouse, coffee container. There's another one. Now you can reuse everything. If you don't reuse it, you're wasting it. Pallets. Keep your plants off the ground and people throw them away or give them away for free. Everybody waste stuff. There's lots of ways that you can reuse stuff. Lots of uses. You just sit and look at it. You think about it. Oh. Yeah, I gotta fix that thing. That's that's it runs. I just don't have the money to put into it to replace the wiring from the burn. Nothing else. This is a half ton. It can only do so much. There's another seed starter here. I know it's a mess right now. I'm going through stuff. Leaves. I got a bed liner, pickup bed liner that I'm using to hold the leaves right now. Leaves, you can filter them out and use them as compost. To make, to get the, uh, the mulch, I take the stuff off the ground, scoop it up into this little container here, which I got from a neighbor that has a or a, a friend of mine that's got, got a flea market booth, the produce stand, they get produce in them, they throw them away all the time. This will take out the big leaves and leave that sand and compost. And then you get this. This is to get the sand out of it to where you only have that compost. That's how I'm an aluminum screen inside another one of these plastic containers. All free. And then, <clears throat> my bags of compost, black bags, loose top, loose top, don't tie them up, you want them to breathe, don't, but you don't want stuff to get into them. Put a cup of, uh, of rainwater, or just a little bit of rainwater, about a cup, a uh, 32 ounce cup or so, get the humidity in there so they don't spark up and catch fire. Get them a little damp, let it sit there. Old uses propane grill, which has been turned into a charcoal grill or a wood burning grill. 
there's tons of stuff you can do tons of uses but anyway this is on for now so <clears throat> don't forget to uh, visit the blog check out my youtube channel rate the video and subscribe remember preparing to live dot blogspot dot com that's all for now till next time happy prepping be be economical if you have any questions just put it on the blog I'll answer it as soon as I see it as soon as I can get to it and just because I haven't been posting all the time doesn't mean I'm not keeping an eye on it I get there when I can here's the 2 by 10s I was talking about these can be used the runners here can be used free bolts these are lag bolts four inch lag bolts four and a half something like that there's tons of stuff you can use concrete block use those to keep your stuff off the ground free four by fours I mean too much stuff out here can be reused and you can save thousands of dollars thousands and thousands of dollars if you do it right let me turn this thing back around you guys are forced to look at my ugly face again But anyway, I don't know. There we go. I think. Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh, by the way. There's my little stack of pallets that I'm going to tear apart and reuse. Or that you can lay, like I said, as a deck. I'll just drop it down and walk on it. But, uh,. Anyway, as I said before, be safe, happy prepping, have any questions, post them on there, ask me. You can email me, survivor.links at gmail.com. Looking for more affiliates, looking for, for more companies to, uh, to go with me. If, you know, I, I'll do reviews, whatever it may be. Companies, go ahead and contact me. People, contact me. Ask questions because it not only will benefit you, but it will benefit everybody else that looks at the blog. Like I said, you know, I, it's for me, there's a lot of stuff here that I've never done before, but I've got enough knowledge to be able to do it. But with me doing it, and, and you know, I will screw up. And when I screw up, you know, I, I can make that mistake and save you the misery of that mistake. I can not only show you the mistake that I made, save you from the mistake, learn from that mistake and show you a, a if you know the correction for that mistake so you it doesn't cost you you don't have to spend the money you don't have to waste the money lose the money let me do that I'll do that for you you know I'll, I'll build it for you I'll make the mistakes it'll cost me it'll save you everything you know everything works out for everyone my, my fundraiser I can buy materials I can, you know, I got to move to Kentucky. I got to get out of here, but uh, it'll it'll benefit you. I mean, five, ten, twenty bucks, fifty bucks. I mean, what are you doing with ten bucks for you know this this week? Can you spare ten ten bucks this week? Wouldn't kill you to, to toss it my way, you know, and and benefit you to to buy. You know, I could buy the materials. It'll benefit you, and in the long run, ten that ten bucks may save you a, a couple hundred. You never know. But, till next time, take it easy, have fun, all that good stuff.